to the channel guys we are doing something new today i'm running the gt3 fix series uh, i'm gonna run the porsche here at daytona so i haven't really run much gt3 period i think including the six hours of watkins i did this will be my fourth ever race in uh in a gt3 car and first ever race on daytona road course as well so Interested to see how this goes. Somehow I qualified third. I have qualified my speed 100%. Like I am, this is the best lap I have ever done. And I did like, like 20 laps in the practice session. And I didn't get close to a 47. Lap. I don't even know if I broke into the 47s. And then somehow on my qualifying lap, I just kind of hit it. Um, I, I'm sure that this isn't hitting it for actually fast people, but for me, this is hitting it. Like, I'm only two tenths off a pole. That's wild. I expected to be two seconds off a pole. So, we'll see how this goes. Hopefully, we can just get through the first lap, and maybe there will be some mayhem behind us, open up a big gap, have nobody in our draft, and we can just coast around and maybe get a top ten. That'd be really cool. So, that being said, though, we will get on the grid. One lap to green. Line up on the left side. Closed. Pit road is closed. Excited slash nervous for this race. Just don't have much experience in the GT3s. And, uh... I want to become a better road racer. And I want to become a road racer that can kind of drive a lot of different cars. Maybe that's not the correct approach to learning road. Maybe I need to be just sticking with one car consistently and doing that. But, and I have been doing that. But this week, the PCC, I'm running the Mustangs this season. PCC is at Winton. And I think that Winton may be the worst track on iRacing. It is dog shit, in my opinion. So I'm not running it. Uh, especially because if I make top split in the Mustang, then I'm going to have GR86s and probably Mazdas that are faster than me because they'll be like the 4,000, 5,000 guys. So most likely I would be in top split um, looking at the participation levels this week. And nobody's wanting to run the Mustang because you're not really, like even the fast, fast guys in the Mustangs are only like half a second maybe faster than the fast GR86s, so I didn't want to subject myself to that. That's just, there's, I don't like that track, period, and I felt like it was going to be a wreck fest, and I didn't want to be a part of it. So, running this instead, and hopefully this isn't a wreck fest, like that might be. I really just kind of hope that this is a good race. Yeah, oh, my outside right here is making me very nervous, so. Really just want to survive and have a decent finish. Cannot believe I qualified third. Hopefully we can capitalize. Green flag, green flag. Guys, not fight. Let's just try to drive away. And by trying to drive away, I may mean them driving away from me. didn't accidentally run 46 nines whereas I accidentally ran a 47 one so looks like maybe behind the two car oh, they're catching up I don't know did they open up that gap it'd be nice if they did
Please don't start fighting. Please don't fight. Children, children. I watched that. Need to get through here pretty well and stay in this draft. See those little tail wiggles out of the Mustang. I did some practice laps on the Mustang and uh, rather quickly decided that I would go to the Porsche because that. Because of that. Because of that right there. No damage to the the coin. We keep getting net, net code X in every race. Not in every race, just in that dirt race, but probably gonna lose this guy's draft. Looks like there was an issue back in fifth. Now, so gotta get this corner right. Scary curb. Some rejoin. Well, we got those guys out of our draft. You really need to make up some time on the seven here and try to stay in his. I need to just let him tow me around the racetrack would be nice. But we're actually, you know, I'll say we're probably in no mistakes territory now. I just need to not make mistakes and get around this racetrack. I'm trying to stay in this guy's draft, but I don't think I've got the pace. I think I could stay in it if I had been closer to him whenever the guy in front of us spun, but uh, I think he just got out too far in front of me now, and I, I don't know that I'll be able to, I don't think I'll be able to catch up. Three seconds to the guy behind us, though. He may get up here and pass us, but nine seconds to the guy behind him, so. Trying to send it in there. For me, that's sending it. like a little bit of ground and and just not quite enough I think we should be in it here though if we can get out of the bus stop well we should be able to close up and take some of that time away I think he got out of there a little bit better than we did One away from the guy behind though. Maybe I'm still in his trap just enough to be getting a little bit of toe. And uh, 
still pulling some of those guys behind. We're still running 47 ones though. I mean, we are in tow, so that does help. But... hard almost spun there I need to chill a little bit but brain is telling me I need to stay in this guy's draft draft for sure. I'm a bit surprised I didn't get a 1x there. position this car I couldn't see the turn and that was probably the first time I've gone into that turn blind and that was a little bit more difficult than I thought it would be. This guy I think if he would stop entering corner so shallow he would just dust me but the hairpin, that sweeping right-hander there. He likes to enter them really protectively. I think I'm gonna dive bomb from eight tenths back, but that's fine. I'm not gonna complain. If it slows him down a little bit and we can stay in his draft, we'll take it. No mistakes, no mistakes, no mistakes, and I made a super crucial one that may even cost the second place. Expect him just to pull away now. Man, that cutting penalty really hurt. I didn't even get a 1x. That's like 
one of the frustrating parts is I wasn't even off track technically, but I cut the course, so. It's all good. Hopefully we can stick it around here. Looks like we'll be coming to five to go here. May lose P2, but should be able to hold on to P3. What do you think about the new 3D curves? I hate them. They want to kill me, and I hate them. seconds back to the two um, and now I'm getting lost on track and breaking and flat out corners get it together two cars need to get draft now behind that lap car here it matter it doesn't matter though it doesn't matter when you miss corners like that if he's gonna get you draft it just doesn't matter. That's so bad. I'm falling apart. I'm sitting here talking about falling apart because I know I'm doing it. I, I still can't correct. Really got to get it together. We can do anything here. Get it together. Just up. Just not a very good road racer because I'm not consistent. I can't find pace consistently. It's a big problem I have. But working on it, trying to get better. Like I had a good entry there and just it's too early off the break. Made up a lot of time on this. Please. 
he's gonna be in draft within two laps. Oh, bobble there may be it. Man, if I don't have that bobble there, I think that I am pulling him down this straightaway. That was crucial time. Seven car though, good job to him. He has yet to falter. I guess I got a breaker. It doesn't matter anymore. Draft now. Doesn't matter. We just lost third place. Like that was so bad. Yeah, I don't know. I was doing. Thought I was doing well in that quarter, and I have uh, really. Really lost my marks and now I'm going off track. Ugh. Jesus, man. There it is. Point nine behind. Really disappointed in myself. Really, really disappointed. Maybe it'll make for a good video though, the last two laps. Next lap through the last lap. Definitely think he will end up getting here. I saw that right card. I thought it might be the leader for a moment, but it was not. He pulled him a little bit there. I have a good corner here. Get wider. Felt better, but not good. See if we can hold on. Hold away from him a little. Slow down a little early for that corner just because I knew I couldn't miss it. If I miss it, that puts him in with a chance to make something happen, but hopefully here we should be okay. Just don't get a cutting in the freaking bus stop. We'll be fine. I think Ross would have pulled away from us anyway. He obviously has not made any mistakes, and I was bound to make some, just as not a very good driver, so. Oh, I tried to. I tried to move it there. We should be able to hold on to P2, though. That is an accomplishment. I made a lot of mistakes, a lot of things to clean up, some things not to be proud of, but holding on to P2 here is a big, big, big result. Only my fourth ever GT3 race and uh, first ever race here at Daytona, and we get it done and end up with a podium. I was shocked when I qualified third. I'm perhaps even more shocked that I'm finishing second. And I guess we got a little bit of attrition to allow that second place, but only one car wrecked in front of us. We actually just got it done on our pace. And uh, yeah, that's, I mean, absolutely, absolutely very happy about that. I'm going to get a few more rounds in because of my safety rating has been struggling lately and I need to get a... Uh, Hey, Jeff, Jeff with a good run. Oh yeah, good run to you too, buddy. 
safety rating has been struggling, so I wanted to get some more uh, orders in. But only two eggs, we should be fine. I don't think I know Jeff. He just was that guy behind us, so that was... Uh, Let's go take a look at what might have happened out there. Right. Oh, I had it muted the whole time. There was other stuff happening. Oh, don't like that. That was loud. Look at this. Six, seven, eight, nine. Just fell apart here in the middle part of this run. And uh, yeah, great run to Jeff. That was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. May not be your best video because we were driving by ourselves a lot, but um really fell apart here glad we got it back together ran some decent 47 laps and brought it home p2 let's go to lap one on the start here and see what happened surprised nobody wrecked into turn one. Oh, some net code gets the mustangs there dude yeah I, so i i did some laps in the mustangs and the rear just wanted to come around so badly it was trying so hard to kill me, and so I decided to run the Porsche instead. I really liked, uh, we did a K5 event. Oh, okay. I didn't think he was going to get loaded up there, but he did. Just got in the wall a little. Oh. Um, we did a K5 event at the Roval, and I drove the uh, GT3 Mustang, and I did spin from the lead, but we don't talk about that. Um, the guys who were there, we all agreed that that didn't actually happen. Anyway. That was the only time I had ever really gotten loose in the car. And then here, every single lap, I was losing the rears, it felt. And, uh, oh, here's where we get second place. This guy, yeah. Can't believe we got a 2x there. It's brutal. How he does the same thing. So, I don't know how much I'm going to run the Mustang if it's that kind of spinny. I have decent control with the Porsche just because I do the GT4 Porsche a lot. And uh, I feel like kind of the weight distribution is a little bit similar. Saw so that. Is this the other thing I just missed? Yeah, dude, those curbs are scary. Oh, he's he's big time cutting the course. What are you doing in this situation? <laughs> oh, God. Wait, yeah, this is where we almost died. Oh, he killed some people. That's brutal. It's gotta be that's a tough situation like yeah that re it's like technically not a rejoin i guess but you can't stop on the grass like sliding he finally gets to some pavement that he can stop on and uh oh god oh god is that intentional was there beef did we have beef so just a tough situation for him Yeah, I almost did this a couple times. Good. It's that lap car that we saw dead on the inside. Is that it? That's it. Any more behave mail? Nope. Let's look at the results. We should have a double green road race. First time in a while. We gained 12 I rating or safety rating, so back up to 1.5. Luckily, it's still the first part of the season. No need to freak out. But I got to do something about this. So um, hopefully we can run some pilot challenges and get low incident numbers and be able to get our safety rating up so that we don't aren't at risk of losing it. But 82 I rating gain back up to 1500. So closing back in on that 1700 number that we failed from in week one. 1700 to 14, like 40, brutal stuff. But we're on our way back. We're on our way back in Oval. We're almost back to 3K in Oval. We're on our way back in Sports Car. And uh, hopefully our luck's turning around here. This is three good races in a row. And hopefully that means everything's turning around. So thank you guys so much for watching. 
Really appreciate all the love and support. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff, and we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.